Time and tomorrow, the community will walk to support a local daycare that's been educating kids for more than 130 years. Yeah, and this week's For the Culture, Deanne's going to introduce us to the Cornerstone Family Ministries, which has had a major impact on families for generations. Good yeah. morning, everybody. So during segregation, immigrant families couldn't attend public schools. Cornerstone Family Ministries and the Rosa Valdez Center opened, creating a space where minority children could learn. It's just always felt like home. East Tampa is home for Ulysia Harris. She's now raising her three children in the same neighborhood. Two spent their first five years at Cornerstone Family Ministries. Her youngest, Mason, is currently attending. It's just like, I'm not really taking them to school. I'm just taking them to my parents' house. So it's always about love here. Cornerstone Family Ministries was built in 1892. Starting as a place for Latino families, it's grown into a cultural melting pot, serving children from newborn to five years old. The school provides everything from free meals to scholarships. Being a single parent alone is, is tough. So with having a scholarship, it made things a lot better for us in my household is able to make sure food is on the table, make sure we have lights, make sure we have a roof over our head. I remember as a single parent for many years how difficult it was for me to do that, not having access to any assistance. Kathy Stone is the executive director of Cornerstone Family Ministries. Under her leadership, the school even offers a learning lab where adults can get a degree in early childhood education with 80% of tuition paid for. Stone says the school is about supporting parents and students. The Rosa Valdez Center has become a model for excellence in serving families and customers who really can't afford quality care, but desire that for their children and deserve to have it for their children. And after 130 years, the center continues preparing local young learners. Again, now he's three, he's whispering our whole name. He's able to point things out. Just, they have taught him a lot. This is home, it's family. And I wouldn't do, I wouldn't go any other route other than Rosa. Now the school solely operates on donations and grants and tomorrow the school will have their annual wonder walk. Their goal is to raise $150,000. They've currently raised about 70,000. So if you'd like to participate, you can participate virtually or in person. And yes, you can still sign up. We'll have some details for you on WFLA.com. We all also have the pleasure of joining this school and all of those runners in the morning. Oh, that